Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are kicking off the last episode, just the last episode, the next episode, just after we finish the last one, we're going to be starting off with a little bit of agility here. I'm actually pretty close to an agility level. And if you didn't know, which you probably do, uh, you can actually summon Pi Boost to get onto the Ardoyan rooftop. So we're going to be doing that. You might be wondering why I'm wearing prayer gear instead of graceful. If you didn't know already, I actually lost a bet, the same bet, which uh, caused me to get a tattoo. I also had to drop all of my graceful clothing. Uh, so unfortunately, we don't get to use graceful here. But more importantly, you barely use any run on this course. So we're not going to be worried about our run energy. And of course, we do actually have to summer pie up every couple laps or so. So the summer pie is going to replenish our energy. But the reason I'm wearing prayer gear is because I am praying preserve. Now, with this gear, it's almost the max in the game. The only thing I could upgrade is the ring of the god's eye to give me an extra plus four. I've got 62 prayer bonus, which means if I'm only praying preserve, my prayer points will last for 77 and a half minutes. Yep, I didn't stutter. Over one hour, my prayer points will last just praying preserve with a 62 prayer bonus, and I'm never going to run out of run energy. Absolutely fucking mental. Hey, there we go, boys. 88 agility coming in. Obviously not unlocking it. Oh my god, we unlocked something. Kralom dungeon pipe shortcut. Yo, that's actually tight. I've got a fucking hydro task right now. So when I go back to Slayer, that's going to fucking speed it up a little bit. Very nice. I think the Hydra task that I have right now will be the last Hydra task I do on the way to 99. Because like, it's good for money and shit. But also takes a very long time. So uh, I'll probably just end up skipping them and going for the, the hard tasks. The hard tasks? The high XP tasks. Because I've got so many Slayer points saved up for when Hydras came out. That I can just skip so many tasks on the way to 99. I'm pumped up about it. That might even be the next video, just going for 99 Slayer. That could be the next thing. But for now, I'm going to stick around the arty course for a little bit, try and get a few more levels and uh, maybe get up to 90. Alrighty, fellas, this should be it. We go ahead and chuck these bad boys in here. I'm pretty sure the last clip was me at the agility course in arty, getting agility levels. So, I mean, you know, you know how these videos go. We fucking chop and change, get around places. Let me repair these struts. Because I need the XP myself right now. Come on. There it is. Level 92 mining, which means we can now mine Amethyst. Which is exactly what we're going to be doing. It's so much more AFK than the Motherload mine. Obviously, the XP rates are going to be lower. But what I have noticed is that because Motherload really isn't all that AFK in relative terms, I get less XP here than I would at Amethyst if I was just chilling. Because it takes so long to mine the Amethyst ores. Uh, I think I'm going to end up getting more XP per hour at Amethyst because of how AFK I am. I give up. I was going to wait until the very last minute to do my construction, the last skill, to piss off as many elitists in the comment section as possible, but we're going to do it. I'm going to go get 84 construction and max out my house because I have a video idea that requires me to have a maxed house. So... We need 13,962 mahogany planks to get this done. Why don't I have any platinum tokens? Oh no, boys. Oh no. Right, so as I was saying, guys, I need 13,962 mahogany planks to make uh, how many tables? 2,326 mahogany tables so what i'm going to do is just go ahead and buy one i'm going to buy them for lowest price possible so that we can save a decent chunk of money i'm not looking forward to spending all this money on construction but you know what boys it's got to be done it's got to be done we will go ahead and get ourselves the construction level in this episode and then maybe next episode we might even go for the construction cape but i'll leave these in dubai for a little while and uh before you know it I'm gonna have a maxed house. Fuck's sake, dude. <laughs> Literally the first construction level of the video and I fucking miss it. What is wrong with me? I suppose that means I'm in the fucking zone, you know? We're getting hella XP. We're going hard, boys, for this construction level. But, like, I missed it, so it's not good. Uh, we are going for 84 construction, which is the level we need for the plus 8 boost to build the crystalline... Crystalline? Is it called the crystalline? 
Crystalline, crystalline portal nexus, which is the maximum portal nexus you can have in the house, is really unnecessary. I don't need it, but if I'm going to build a max house, I might as well fucking go for the max max. So we're going to have absolutely everything. And as for the video idea that I said I, was, I need to get construction for, I'm planning on doing 10 hours of hosting a maxed house. I want to see what kind of money these guys make. You know what I mean, boys? So uh, I'm going to get the construction level, change my name, obviously, so people don't know it's me. And then I'm going to go host a max house in the house hosting world. See if we can uh, secure the bag. You know what I mean, boys? See if it's actually worth it for these people to do it. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think this is going to be a recurring theme for this construction grind. Because I do it so quickly, you know? Like, I'm clicking this many times every time something happens. It's like, I think I'm just going to literally miss every single level. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to see how many levels I can not miss. And I think I'll miss more than I actually don't miss. I need to stop talking. Fuck! Come on, boys. Yes, I fucking got one. Let's go. 77 construction coming in. We can now make elite stash units. What? You need a fucking construction level for those? I literally had no idea. Right, well, let's continue, boys. We need seven more levels, right? Yeah, seven more. Ah, for fuck's sake. We couldn't get the back-to-back -back level. 78 construction coming in, boys. Fucking hell. Oh, my God, I did it again. Every time I see it pop up. Every time I see it pop up, man. I'm like, for fuck's sake. I've missed it. What's the point in even doing YouTube, honestly, man? Got it, boys. 80 construction. There we go. And this one's on camera. 29 rooms we can build now. Dark altar, lunar altar, ancient altar, rejuvenation pool, obelisk, toolbox, hedge, scrying pool, marble portal, Kelphite soldier. Nice. We can do a lot of shit. <clears throat> you guys aren't going to believe this. Yep. He's only gone and done it again, boys. Here we go. 82 construction coming in. Two more levels. It used to be just one more level that we needed to uh, get the max house. But since the new portal nexus came out, we are going to get that last level so that we can uh, we can get the completely maxed house. There it is, boys. 83 construction. I almost missed this one. I clicked away from it, but something fucked up and I guess it stayed. So second last level, we got it. Uh, we need a we can make a dungeon pipe, infernal chart. Is that got something to do with an infernal cape? I don't know. Uh, yeah, look, I don't really care about any of that shit. Let's just continue on one more level, and then we go get the boosts. Get ourselves the maxed house. I'm fucking pumped. Fuck's sake. I literally missed the last level that I need to get. We're done. We're done with construction for now. I'm going to come back to construction. You know what? Probably in the next episode, I'll probably just spend the money, get the 99 if I'm completely honest, it was super easy to do. And it's another 99 to get out of the way that I can just punch out that I can buy. You know what I mean, boys? But for now, we're going to go get some spices. We're going to go get some boosts. And uh, let's just say Bob will be our uncle, boys. Let's do it. So first things first, boys, we need to upgrade like our previous stuff. I've gone ahead and built the fancy jewelry box, which I didn't have before. And now we're going to go ahead and upgrade the pool of rejuvenation to the fancy rejuvenation pool. Then, of course, we need to get to level 90. So we need a plus three boost to be able to do the ornate rejuvenation pool. We need to get five gold leaves. Oh, my God. Guys, building this portal nexus is extortionately expensive. Like, I just had to spend 2.8 mil on marble blocks just so I could build the pre-Nexus. Like, not even the best one. That's just how much I have to spend on the two leading up to it. Like, this is just so not worth it. I don't understand why my comment section has been so fucking crazy about me doing this for the past two years. Like, it's just not worth it. What the fuck? Now I'm gonna pay two mil for these two magic stones? Like, what the hell, man? All right, boys, before we go get some spices, here's the thing. I've got three. Oh, I've only got two. Never mind. I gotta go get a spice. I was gonna say we'll, give it, we'll go in with one spice and see if we can just snag it straight off the bat, but apparently not. What I will do is go get literally one spice, and if I get the boost on the first one, well... Like, I'm just literally the best, you know? Alrighty, boys. Here we go. One boost. That's all we're going to need. I have got full faith 
in the luck of this account when it comes to getting boosts. Full faith. Are we ready? Oh my god. You're joking. I thought I did it, bro. I thought... Oh, that's so close. God damn it, boys. Oh, I got trolled. Yes, 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 yes. Nice, boys. There we go. All right. Let's uh, let's let's do the rest of them. Let's do the rest of them. Fuck yes. Right. Next one is going to be the uh, fancy... No, no, no. The ornate box. Let's do the ornate box. Nice. Come on. Do we get it? We should get it. Oh, building mode. Come on. Here we go. Boom. There we go, boys. The ornate jewelry box done. And if I head back to the bank and unnote these leaves and uh, get some anti-venoms, we should be good to make the last one. Upgrade the fancy pool. Boom. There we go, boys. Ornate rejuve. We've got the ornate jewelry box. We've got ourselves the portal nexus. I can build a gilded altar whenever I want. We need to go get some mushrooms for this fairy ring. But we can just get a boost from the kitchen if I build a new kitchen and um, get the tea. We also got to get the altar of the occult. So let's go ahead and get this party started, boys. I'll go get all the signets and we can just make the tea in order to get the altar of the cult. Let's fucking go. Okie dokie, boys. This should be the fairy ring in the house. I'm not going to bother going for the fairy ring and the spirit tree combo because I can just build two of these rooms and put a, a watering can. Oh, shit. I ought to be quick about this. Um, because I can just put the spirit tree in a separate room. There's literally no point to go for the spirit tree and uh, fairy ring combo, really. Damn it. I lost my boost, man, because the watering can wasn't full. Oh, that's so annoying, dude. This is so shit. I need 10,000 astral runes, right? So I can build this thing. Yeah. And I just bought two astral runes so that I could teleport to Lunar Isle so that I could get... And the limit is 10,000. Like, what the fuck is that shit? Why make 10,000 the fucking... <sighs> right. And here we go, boys. If I've made the T correctly here, we jump into building mode and we should be able to... What have I got on the ground? A bucket of milk. Right. Let's go into building mode. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Let's drink the tea. Build the altar space. There we go. Let's go ahead and build uh, any of them. Doesn't really matter. And then we upgrade. And occult altar. There we go, boys. Now we can change to any spell book we like. Let's go get the mushrooms out of the bank. Build that fairy ring. And that's it. We're done. Maxed house. There we go, boys. Fairy ring built. I just remembered I actually have to charge my nexus. So I'm going to go to the Grand Exchange and buy all of the runes that I need for all the teleports. Okie dokie. Left click. Let's make it the GE. That's a nice one. We'd like to see that. And save and close. Confirm. Teleport menu. There we go, boys. We have all the teleports except for the troll stronghold. Obviously, before I do the 10 hours of hosting a maxed house, I'm going to upgrade to the gilded altar. I'm going to get this uh, spirit tree. I'll get the troll stronghold teleport. But for now, everything in this house is everything that we need for PVM. Fairy ring, ornate pool, ornate jewelry box, altar of the occult, maxed out portal nexus. I finally gave in to the YouTube comment section, boys, and maxed the house out. Now, I'm no longer going to get fucking elitist comments in the comment section like, Ew, how do you have a four bill bank and you don't have a maxed house? Yeah. What I am going to get, hopefully, is a new meme. It's time for the lack of content meme to die and for the why don't you have a maxed house meme to take part. That's the new comment I want you guys to comment on every video. Why do you not have a maxed house and a four bill bank? Boom. That's going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. Plane to main episode number 48, I believe this is. Really getting up there in terms of episodes. Leaving it on 2146 total. Potentially in the next episode, we'll get 99 construction. See how I'm feeling about spending all that money. If not construction, definitely smithing or something else. We're going to get a 99 in the next episode, but that's going to wrap it up for today. Apologies for my voice. 
I went out on a big fucking party last night, and uh, obviously I was shouting at things. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Putting out a new video every single day this year. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one tomorrow. Take it easy. Yo, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode in EV365. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm putting out a new video every single day this year. Don't forget to click that bell icon as well so you get notified when it comes out. If you guys really enjoyed a video, you could also leave a like. That really helps out the channel to get the videos in suggested and it's really good for channel growth. On top of that, if you are enjoying the videos and want to see some of these things get made live as they happen, I stream five days a week over on twitch crazy stuff like this goes down very often Boys. <laughs> oh no i know that noise oh you have to i'm safe i'm safe i'm safe how much cash is that 124 mil holy fuck <laughs> mm. muscles hey, hey, uh, did you just fart <laughs> And if you just want to keep up with my day-to-day -day wheelings and dealings, you can also follow me over on Twitter at EVscape Official. All links will be in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Take oh it easy. Oh my god, I bet you got killed by a fucking bear. Oh my god.